welcome back to my channel so i haven't been doing uh makeup tutorials in a while and it's not kind of like a makeup tutorial it's more of a a new series that i'm trying to do in my channel but it has to do with makeup so don't be alarmed it has to do with the face this is the guidebook to oily skin i have oily skin and i hate it but that's why I'm doing this video for those of you guys who suffer the same thing I suffer with my oily skin that can help you um, make your makeup look great, what products you can use with your oily skin because I know a lot of people have the problem that oh can I use, I can't use highlighter because I have oily skin, I can't use moisturizer, I can't use oils well, here I'm doing this video to address what you can use and this is just my personal opinion, the things that have worked for me and <laughs> let's get to the video Okay, so I know I haven't been doing much makeup related videos I've been doing vlogs recently if you guys want to see my vlogs please go and check it out but I know some of you basically watch me for makeup videos not for my vlogs or for anything else so I was like, I need to do a makeup related video like now. Okay, so what I'm gonna be showing you is how I achieve a flawless matte look with using highlighter and everything and not looking oily. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks of what to do before you apply the full beat, the full kick on your face. Before you apply your makeup, you of course need to make sure your skin is clean if your skin is not clean like you're gonna get so oily and cakey and your makeup's not gonna look good how much you try to fix it it's not going to look good um so always cleanse your skin if you have makeup on that you're gonna be removing to do or like a new face makeup look or something um you need to cleanse your skin twice and no, it doesn't mean that you need two soaps to cleanse your skin and no. Um, the way I do it at least is first I cleanse with a makeup wipe. And the second cleanser I use is just a gentle skin cleanser. So when you use a gentle cleanser on your skin, you're going to use a scrub. A scrub is perfect for people with oily skin. First of all, it removes unwanted oil off your skin that is a very deep in. It helps to not have clogged pores, which I suffer from a lot, clogged pores, blackheads and whiteheads on my skin. That's how my skin is. The reason my skin is like that is because, well, as I was saying, my skin is a very, very oily. Like, it's not a combination to oily, it's just straight up oily. Sorry for that noise, I'm sitting on my luggage because I couldn't find a chair high enough. So that's the squeaky noise that you can hear sometimes. Um, as I was saying, my skin is very, very oily and my scalp is very oily as well. And that just transfers everywhere and it's just horrible. I do not like it. But, um, I mean, those are just things that we have to just get over because I can't do much about it and just praying that it will go away. Um, but you know, some people just have really bad acne and I have really bad blackheads, whiteheads, and clogged pores. But getting a little bit off topic, going back to cleansing. A scrub helps with cleaning out every impurity, every dead skin cells. Sometimes when you use, for example, a brush to apply your foundation um, and you did not scrub your face or use a peel-off mask or remove the dead skin cells that you have on your skin, that's what it does is just moves them all around with your foundation because this does like micro, how do you call this? Um, micro exfoliating on your skin as soft as your bristles are they do micro exfoliating on your skin and you might not believe that but your skin is so so sensitive that that's what it does to your face so those are some tips and tricks for when you're cleaning your skin now moisturizing and hydrating your skin a lot of people say oh, oh i have oily skin i don't need to moisturize or use oils or nothing believe me i was one of the people who say that like used to say that now 
why do you need moisturizer if you're oily? I'm gonna explain this to you a bit more scientifically, dermatologically. Okay, so your skin produces oil when it lacks of hydration. Usually your skin does produce oil, but when it lacks of hydration, uh, your uh, sweat glands and your oil glands and your pores start to procreate more oil, which becomes having your skin with excess oils. Now when you apply a moisturizer, what it does is moisturize the skin so your face won't lack of moisture and it won't create excess oil being an oily oily type of person i go up down to like a normal to oily to normal and that's like a lot now if you would like to try oils on your skin there is some oils that are great for your skin you just have to check labels and stuff you know like don't go for a dry dry skin type of oil for your face um there's this little Drops, I think they're from Milk Cosmetics or Milk Skincare. I don't really know how their brand is, but I tried it from Sephora. That they give me a little sample. It's the Milk uh, Argon Milk thing. I think it was. What was it? I do not remember. Honestly, I'll put a picture of the product right here. But that is comes like in a dropper. It's kind of like an oil but it's not oil based like it doesn't feel oil based oil based like it absorbs so nicely into your skin and it feels so great so hydrating and refreshing for your skin and it moisturizes flawlessly your skin you know you can try that out and there's also a lot of great products out in the market that are specifically for oily skin that are moisturizers i know clinique has a moisturizer that's a gel and it's great for oily skin because it moisturizes but it's, it's, it's a gel it like absorbs your skin and doesn't leave you oily so it's great and amazing primers for your skin you got to make sure that they say that they're oil free not oil based or nothing like that or like crazy illuminating ones or nothing like that i mean you can use uh, like little drops like recovery effects drops you can use that like mix into your foundation or like dotting them in your highlight points and all that but try to stay away from illuminating primer they're made specifically for dry skin so what that does is makes your skin um like get your oil uh be in excess like excess oil so it gonna tend to make your makeup melt off your face and after all that hard work i know you don't want your makeup to melt off your face um great primers for oily skin types are pore filling primers silicon silicone based primers the primer water is also great i love that thing every time i go to sephora or to macy's or something i'm like Ch -ch 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 -ch. And I'm done. Like, I'm happy for the rest of the day. Just stay away from the ones that say illuminating, like, very big. And you're like, yeah, that's not really gonna work for me. Foundation and concealer and those cream products that get on your face. You can't use heavy-duty coverage foundations. You just need to know how to use them correctly. Don't go and use half of the... Half of the bottle... On just half of your face don't do that because you're gonna look cakey and like I, when you finish doing your makeup you're gonna look cakey but give it 15 to 20 minutes and you're gonna start melting off and it's just gonna look horrible it's like when you have a cake with a lot of icing that's very pretty and it starts to melt that's how you're gonna look like not good so what I like to do when it comes to full coverage foundations, because believe me, I love the full coverage. I live for that. But what I do is I do a light layer evenly all across my face. And then I grab another layer, but I apply it on my hand, not on my face or my sponge. And I spot the areas I feel like I need a bit more coverage, where I feel like um, they just need a bit more attention with foundation. And I just like... Like if I was concealing like a dab a bit here, there, whatever. You want to look 
like he had the cake on but not cakey and i heard that from kristen dominique and i was like yes girl <laughs> you can use cream contour it's not a sin to use cream contour on oily skin you can use it it looks great on the skin one product i'm going to show you some products i love to death i can't live without when it comes to cream contour is the fit me shine free plus a balance foundation this is a matte uh, foundation stick and i use it in the shade coconut it's very inexpensive it, like it's great and i didn't use it on this look here but it's very very great it leaves your skin matte the center that it has is a mattifying balm in the center it actually feels like professional like if you touch it it feels like so it's like very great and i use this more for bronzing like if i'm doing a very light look like i don't even use foundation i use this thing because it leaves your skin very nice and bronze especially now in summer it looks great now for contouring contouring like that it's more of a bronzing for me um for contouring I use the nyx wonder stick and this thing is great i love it i skipped something and i'm gonna tell you about it now because I just remembered. Um, these are two steps that you really do not need to do. These, you can do them before your foundation. Well, they're recommended to do it before your foundation. So once you apply your primer, you can use some MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. To apply it in the nose area. Now this works perfectly for people who crazily sweat and oil up on the nose area. You won't have oily or sweaty nose throughout the day, which is actually great. Now the downside to this trick is that if you have a lot of blackheads or clogged pores, they tend to be a bit more pronounced. So if you like have an extraction strip or something and you have a nice flawless nose, you're good to go. Now the other trick is that if you grab some setting powder, like loose translucent powder, apply the lightest of the lightest layers on top of your primer. What that does is that if you apply your primer and everything and you're, just, and you're starting to get a bit oily in some spots or you feel like your moisturizer didn't like clenched to your skin properly or your primer, what that does is that makes all of that stick onto your face and the oil won't seep out into your foundation so that helps amazingly it makes your foundation last hours longer and it makes your oils be more controlled and not looking extremely crazily oily setting the face i prefer to use a uh, mattifying and pore erasing powder this you guys know it's my favorite powder ever this is like the third one i go through of these and it's just great this powder feels so soft so buttery it's so great it feels amazing on the skin it's by maybelline and i love it i what i do is i grab a, a cosmetic sponge and i just quickly grab that and i apply it in the cheek areas where i get uh really big pores and it looks very bad on the skin i also apply here in the forehead forehead where i get like a crease on here and it makes that be erased and also these are areas that i get very very oily so this helps a lot airspun powder which is a translucent loose powder you can use whatever one you like that is your favorite and just apply that on top and let that set for a while what i do is i bronze my skin all that you can use whatever bronzer you like you use a shimmery one a matte one whatever you like you're not gonna look oily highlighter you can use all the highlighter you want if you want to glow you can see your like someone can see you up in the moon you can do it because you're not gonna get oily at all you're gonna look great you're not gonna look oily you're not gonna look like you're melting you're gonna look glowy and beautiful and nothing is gonna happen to your face okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i tried to do this i'm gonna try to do the series a bit more often 
and I'm gonna if you have any ideas of anything you would like me to discuss got a guidebook to lips brows eyeshadow whatever you like um, you can just comment down below and yeah I tried to do this video different I didn't want to do a rant about you having to diet because I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about oily skin or acne skin or whatever and everybody's like you have to diet you have to diet I'm telling you you don't need to cut down on your pizza or burger because I'm not going to <laughs> I eat a lot and I, I've actually tried to diet like okay I'm gonna cut back on fried foods on pizza on burgers hot dogs and everything you can imagine but it's horrible honestly horrible well thank you guys for watching please like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe down there to my channel thank you guys always for watching and bye